आचार्य श्री विजय वल्लभ स्कूल पुणे इंडिया प्राउडली होस्ट इपवी इंडो फिलीपींस वर्चुअल एजुकेशनल एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम इन कोलेबोरेशन विद friendships with their philippine friends this has made us all come out of our comfort zone and made us more socially and globally adaptable all the components of ipwi have been an indivisible part of this project who not only have made this program enduring but they have also made it possible at the background of this pandemic culture is a window reflecting the history and spiritual world of a nation cultural exchange is is a bridge to 
enhance the mutual understanding and friendship between the people of different nations. We have certainly built a strong bridge if we between two nations, India and Philippines. It has all already created an everlasting friendship between the students, the institute, and thus amongst two nations, and brought them on one single platform of humanity. Hope our school, Acharya Shivijay Vallab School, will have many more global projects like IPVI, which will bring international laurels to the school. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now I would like to request to start the program with the captain of our ship, that is our principal, Mrs. Manasi Marulkar, ma'am, by sharing her feelings today on this occasion. Welcome you all and wishing a good day to my international friends. Let me once again welcome Bishop Edgardo Marcus and Miss Jocelyn Dimala from Philippines, Mr. Kim from South Korea, Miss Yogi Patel from USA, Miss Tony from UK, Miss Rosa Drummond from Brazil, our chairman Sri Subhasji Parmar sir, and complete extended IFPE team for this felicitation program. I also welcome all parents, students, and teachers joining this live session. Our Acharyashi Vijayvallabh School participated in a virtual exchange program at the backgrounds of the pandemic last year with Helena Antipop Institute, Brazil. After the successful completion of IPVI, our students had an exchange with Kenya, South Korea, and Egypt too. I really feel that it was futuristic thinking of our chairman, Shri Subhashji Parmar sir, and his guidance because of which we could provide our students an opportunity to interact with various countries. And after that, we equipped ourselves to have an independent virtual exchange with Philippines. IPPI is a strategic, innovative, and completely independent initiative launched with efforts of our team at the beginning of this year. This initiative was focused on giving global exposure to the students and make them aware about the diverse culture, traditions, festivals, and living style. I'm happy to share that 14 students from our country, from standards 7th and 8th, and 16 students from Unida Christian Colleges, Philippines, participated in this exchange program. As this was the first program in the series, considerable efforts were spent in the initial months on systematic planning, understanding the backgrounds of the students, and deciding the topics for weekly sessions. Special focus was given looking at the difficult difficulty in communication, considering English not a primary language for the students. In the few first few sessions, students had hesitation opening up and exchanging thought. However, with the support of teachers from both the sides, we could establish confidence in students. Over few sessions, students build good rapport with each other, starting sharing their thoughts confidently, asked questions, and exchange ideas. I am really happy today that eminent experts around the globe have joined us for this program and are appreciating our school's effort for global exchange. I, with a lot of pleasure, again welcome you all and thank you for gracing the occasion. In today's felicitation ceremony, we have requested participating students, participating teachers, and leadership teams to share their experience with all of us. I once again thank you all for your commitment and active participation in making this unique culture exchange program successful. I look forward to having similar sessions for the next set of batches with variety of countries all over the globe. Thank you. The journey of IPV has surely been an unforgettable one. Our students got an opportunity to display their innovative skills, 
on a larger global horizon. Let us hear it from one of the Acharya Shivijay Vallabh School, Shreya Bhati, how this exchange program has brought a change in her life. Hello everyone, Namaste. This is Shreya Bhati from Acharya Shivijay Vallabh School. How are you all? It's been a long time since we have met. Last time when I met you all, it was really great to know more about you and your country. So here we are back again. Through this virtual exchange program, I got to know about Filipino food, Filipino style of architecture. Places like Cavite and Manila are really exciting places to visit and I think I should visit them once. All the six sessions were amazing and I enjoyed it. My favorite session was the session of food. As I am foodie, I love eating different kinds of food, especially food of different countries. This program also helped me in building confidence like I was very shy and nervous on my first session but now in my last session I am confident. I am thanking Ms. Jocelyn ma'am for appreciating our presentations and boosting our confidence. This program also helped me in making new friends of UCC, Yehida Christian Colleges. The features of our school are amazing and great to know. I wish I could visit Philippines once in my lifetime and even if I visit, it won't be new for me as my Filipino friends already showed me Philippines through their presentation. So I am thanking Acharya Shri Vijay Vallabh School, our Chairman Mr. Subhash Kumar Sir, our Principal Ms. Pansi Ma'am and all other teachers who have guided me through this program. So thank you once again. Bye bye. See you soon. Palam Hangun Samuli. Whatever Shreya has spoken, I feel that it is on behalf of all the students of IPRI. She has shared her views. Really, I'll tell you, children are really fascinated with this IPRI session. And this is the come out, whatever they said about it, they felt that really they would have much more sessions than what they had. They felt it was very less for them, but still, children felt that we should have more sessions like this. And they were really very happy to meet all their international friends. Thank you, Shreya. Now we have with us the principal of Unida Christian Colleges, Jocelyn Dimala. Uh, we all have heard her throughout the sessions and the children were really happy when you appreciated them, ma'am. Uh, that's not what Shreya had said because children need the appreciation and that is what you did and they were encouraged because you appreciated them uh, and that motivated their spirits. So I feel once again, it will be very kind of you. We would like to hear you again, Jocelyn. So over to you, Jocelyn, ma'am. Good day, everyone. First of all, congratulations on your successful journey in the Indo-Philippines Virtual Educational Exchange Program. I am honored to witness such an amazing opportunity for our students. Our dear parents and students and the entire school community are grateful for this one in a lifetime and one of a kind experience. Our sincere gratitude to Mr. Subash Par. Chairman of Achari Vijay Dao School, dear Mama Nasi, the school principal, and special thanks to the program coordinator, Mam Pragati, and to all the teachers and students. We are truly grateful for this awesome experience and we we'll look forward to more programs like this in the future. Again, thank you so much and have a great day. We are really happy to hear you again. Uh, it was very kind of you to thank all of us and we also once again, thank you. Uh, we have a view of a students from Philippines, that is Gia. Uh, we like to hear what the Philippine students experienced this session. So over to you, Gia. Good day to everyone, teachers, coordinators, schoolmates and friends. I am Gaya Medina, a grade 8 junior high school student from Unida Christian Colleges, Philippines. 
First and foremost, I want to thank my teachers for giving me the opportunity to be able to join in this Indo-Philippines Virtual Education Exchange program. It was quite out of the blue that I had been chosen to be part of this, but the thought of having the chance to communicate and learn about a foreign country had me all excited. Now talking about the program itself, I, every session was so exciting and I was able to learn so many things about India. And it's all thanks to Chairman Mr. Subash, the team of Acharya Sri Vijay Balab School, and Unida Christian Colleges in creating this opportunity. Everyone in the Philippine and Indian team were so much fun to be with because of the thrill of learning something new about each other's countries. I've always wanted to share the Philippine culture and also, of course, for me to know the culture of other countries. So this program is like a wish granted. One day in the future, I can look back at this and I can proudly share that I have been able to experience such event. So that is all. Again, I am really happy to be part of this. The whole program was such a great experience and an unforgettable one. Along with the UCC teachers and schoolmates, and of course, our dear friends from Acharya Sri Vijay Balab School. Especially Ms. Pragati, Ms. Manasi, Mr. Subash, and the other teachers and coordinators as well. Not only we can learn something new in virtual exchange programs, we can also make connections and make new friends this way. It is an amazing way to get along not only with our close friends, but we can also make friends globally. And that will be all from me. Again, I am Gaya Medina, a grade 8 ambassador from Unida Christian Colleges. Thank you so much once again. Wow, so lovely, Gia. Yeah. It was not only experience for the teachers. I think so. We as teachers also experienced many things. We learned many things from this session. So thank you for the students also that you taught us many things. You learned, but we also are very eager and very thankful to you all to teach us many new things in this session. Thank you once again. Over to you, Anjali. Thank you, Nasreen, ma'am. So after seeing this or hearing this wonderful feedback from Gia, it is great to see how students have benefited from this international virtual exchange program. Like Nasreen ma'am mentioned, it was not only the students, but even we as teachers have learned so many new things. And uh, it is because of this virtual exchange program that uh, we could sit here in India and uh, visit Philippines. So it was a wonderful experience. Thank you so much. And uh, moving ahead to have a better, ex a better view of the journey that we had over six weeks uh, during this IPVI program. Let us, take a let us take a view through our uh, six-week journey of Indo-Philippine Virtual Education Exchange Program through this short clip. IPVI, Indo-Philippines Virtual Educational Exchange Program. Hosted by Acharya Shri Vijayavallab School, Pune, India. In collaboration with Unida Christian Colleges, Philippines. Let's take a tour through our first IPVI session. Our teachers and students attending the first session. Students from India and Philippines showcasing their t-shirt activity. My name is Narendra because Narendra means Lord of Men. From Sanskrit, Nar means man combined with the name of the Hindu god Indra. Used to here to be mean Lord. Uh, my name is John Mariel Bonifacio, but you can call me Mariel. Um, I like reading. I like reading fiction stories on Wattpad, uh, if you know that. And my favorite food is corn and bulalo. Bulalo is a Filipino dish. And my favorite subject is history since I like the past. And I describe myself as an ambitious, ambitious person because I always want to succeed and I will always do my best to succeed. Thank you. Uh, I am very glad to see all these young faces uh, uh, from India and also the faces from uh, Philippines. So I uh, welcome you to this uh, virtual educational exchange between India and Philippines, uh, which is a new chapter. And I'm sure this new chapter, this new moment, this uh, memory will be remembered by all of us for a long time. And we are sure going to gain out of these things. So at an outset, I am I congratulate all of you for participating. I appreciate the efforts taken by Joseline Ma'am and our all counterparts from uh, India. And I'm sure this will definitely add 
uh, to the glory of bringing two countries together, two cultures together, two educational systems together. Proud moment for us to see our virtual exchange article published in the newspaper. IPVI was hosted under the guidance and mentorship of our Honorable Chairman Subhashji Parmar sir. IPVI was successful because of the support and guidance from principal from India and Philippines, IPVI coordinator from India and the teachers from Acharya Shri Vijayavallabh school. This was a short journey uh, that we had that we experienced over the six weeks during this Indo-Philippine virtual exchange program. Uh, this this video is nothing to show but uh, just a chance that how the students have worked hard, the hard work they have put in uh, to prepare their presentations, to show their countries, to show give us a virtual outlook to the school, to their cultures, to so many things that we experienced over the six weeks. Uh, moving ahead, because of all the efforts that the students have put in, it is also our duty to appreciate them and reward them with the certificates that we have uh, prepared and provided to the students. Let us uh, go through the felicitation of the students for the FP program. This was a small token of appreciation for the hard work done by the students of Urida Christian College, Philippines. Uh, thank you once again, children, for showing us a different way, a different path for the progress through Philippines. And this was a, just an appreciation for you. Thank you once again, children. Now we have Shannon from Philippine side who will be expressing her views, her experience, what she learned through that session.
So over to you, Shannon. Good day, everyone. I am Shannon Lambaton, a grade 8 junior high school student from Unida Christian Colleges who just so happened to be given the amazing opportunity to join and participate in the virtual exchange program hosted by the Akarya Sri Vijayva Lab School, Pune, India. This was my first virtual exchange experience and I didn't exactly know what to do at first. But the teachers and staff were so friendly and explained what the program was all about very clearly, which made it easier for me to understand and communicate with others. I liked how in the first meeting we did an activity to get to know each other. It was a very fun and creative icebreaker and it made me feel more comfortable with the members. I also appreciate the fact that all of the Indian teachers like Mom Pragati and Mom Manasi were very approachable and responsive when I asked questions about the presentations. I love the fact that I get to learn and see the culture of India and at the same time share the culture of the Philippines with others. The program was so fun and each meeting was so memorable. So I'd like to thank the Acharya Sri Vijayvalab School, Pune India, all the staff, teachers, and Mr. Subash for giving not only me, but all the students the wonderful honor to be part of the virtual exchange program. It was a really a good appreciation and we really were very happy to know that you had fun there learning through that IPVI session. We also had fun learning with you, listening to you, and talking with you. Thank you, Shannon. Uh, hello. Romila Sifra, uh, we are meeting after a long time. I hope you are there. Hello, ma'am. Yes, hello. Meeting after a long time. How are you? Will, Fine. Yes. So we all will be glad to hear you again. So over to you. Kamusta? I am Miss Romelia S. Sifra, a junior high school faculty member of Unida Christian Colleges from the Philippines. As a social science teacher, I really appreciate this international virtual exchange program because I believe that the interactions between our students from different nations can be substantial in forming stronger relationship with one another that is beyond territories. Through these programs, we are able to connect from people all over the world and earn the opportunity to learn their culture, traditions, and beliefs that establishes cultural sensitivity and respect with each other. Now that we are in the globalization era, having this program expounds our knowledge about foreign culture so that we can form better and effective relationship and communication that is essential for our economic, social, and political connections. Personally, I really enjoyed this program because I was able to learn more about the educational system and culture of India. There is so much to share and a lot of discovery through the presentation presented by both students from the Philippines and India. They really did a great job. And most importantly, it warms my heart to see the youth of India and the Philippines connecting with one another despite the virtual constraints. The things that they learn in this exchange program can help develop their communication skills, cultural sensitivity, and foreign awareness that will be essential once they become professionals in the future. This might be the end of the program, but let's not end our learning and connections. Let's continue to explore the culture and society of each other and continuously create a relationship that is beyond language and distance. Thank you so much. Really, really I, I do, do agree, agree with, with you, you that, that we should bridge this gap which is there through the young generation. And these young generation only can bridge the gap between any two countries in this difficult situation, what the world is going through. Thank you once again, Sifra. Over to Thank you, you Anjali. Thank you also, madam. Yes, welcome, dear. Over to you, Anjali. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Sifra, ma'am, thank you for uh, letting us know or bringing it to our notice that how these virtual exchange programs are 
really required for the social and economic upgradation of the countries and uh, how it connects uh, us in spite of having the language issues or the distance issues that we are facing. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you also. We appreciate this program very much. Thank, Thank you. you ma'am. So the students of India and Philippines, the students from India and Philippines have really worked hard as we've seen through the videos and how teachers are mentioning and how the students are giving their feedback about the program. So we can all see how every, each and everyone who has been associated with this virtual exchange program has been enjoying this. So, and thank you, a, a great thank you to all the students for making this program lively and successful. It wouldn't have been possible without their uh, coordination and their support. So now is the time that we felicitate the Indian students with the certificates for their incredible contribution towards this program of IPVI. Once again, like to congratulate all the students from both the countries for their amazing contribution and enthusiasm that they've shown throughout the virtual exchange program. Congratulations once again. And of course, when we appreciate the students, the students get motivated by their teachers, of course, and the school and the management. So once again, congratulations to the school from Philippines and India the Unida Christian Colleges and Acharya Sri Vijayavallabh School, the management of the schools, it wouldn't have been possible without your support and uh, the trust that you all have shown upon us. Thank you. Moving ahead with our today's program, I would now like to request Ms. Yogi Patel to exchange her views with us about this virtual exchange program that was hosted with, in collaboration with Philippines, Unida Christian Colleges, hosted by Acharya Sri Vijayavallabh School. Over to you, Ms. Yogi Patel. Hello, my name is Yogi Patel. I am honored and I am grateful for Acharya Sri Vijayavallabh School for their tremendous work with global education undertaken by founder Subhash Burmar and the principal Mansi Marilkar, along with her staff members, Pragati Nasrin and Anjali. They've made global education possible in countries around the world, four that I can speak of just this year, Brazil, Philippines, Korea, and Egypt. Recently in Philippines, 14 students joined uh, other students from Philippines over six weeks, collaborating, talking, sharing, laughing, and learning about one another through talking about movies, reading books to one another. They created PowerPoints and exchanged ideas of things that are fun for them and interesting. These types of collaborative efforts help students learn about the world around them, builds confidence. As they share about their culture, they feel confidence and appreciation for their culture, along with learning about cultures that they are working with. Life skills that we want in our students, ability to empathize, care for one another, care for the environment, care for the world, learn to problem solve, become confident leaders one day. All takes, all is learned here by these types of global initiatives. I look forward to learning more about other initiatives next year. And I want to say thank you for making a difference and continuing to do this work because it's not easy. It takes time, commitment, and effort. And when peace is at stake, I think we need to find time, and you do. 
my appreciation and gratitude for your work. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your appreciation towards both the schools. And uh, like ma'am mentioned how these are the times when we get to learn so many things about each other. I would here like to mention that during the six weeks that we were having this virtual exchange program, even we faced many problems and the major issue that we faced was of network issue. How even up, in spite of facing that, how the students from both the ends cooperated and did their work, did their job so well. Uh, there were tasks which were given, which were, of course, difficult. And the presentations that they had presented were amazing, were amazing in a way that we as teachers never expected our students from both the ends to perform so well on uh, during their first virtual exchange program. So, of course, these virtual exchange programs have helped our students both from both the ends, of course, to develop in a way that didn't have uh, expected during the live classes that we have in the schools. So thank you. Now I would like uh, our students from Acharya Shivijavallab School to share her experience as a part of the IPFI program. Over to you, Ms. Prachi Jalgi. Hello everyone. I am Prachi Jalgi from Acharya Shivijavallab School. I feel very lucky as I got selected to be a part of this IPFI program. That is Indo-Philippines Virtual Educational Exchange Program. The IPFI sessions were very interesting and educational. I learned so many things about Philippines from their students. I learned about the school, culture, food, habits and many more things. The Indian culture and the Philippine culture had many similarities. At the end of the session, all students would interact with each other and ask questions. Our principal Ms. Mansi Ram had taken lots of efforts in arranging this virtual exchange program, which was strongly supported by our teachers Ms. Nasim Khan, Ms. Pragati Joshi and Ms. Anjali Padman Ma'am. I would also like to thank the chairman of our school, Mr. Subhash Parman sir, for giving us this opportunity to be a part of this virtual access program. Thank you. Thank you, Prachi. We have with us today a personality who has contributed on a global scale, who works towards the climatic conditions and studies them, who is a trainer and a researcher. We have with us Ms. Renuka Thakure. Dr. Renuka is a transdisciplinarity and sustainability expert. Ma'am is the founder of Global Sustainable Futures. She is a consultant, a trainer, and a researcher. Ma'am, we are fortunate enough to have you with us today. Ma'am, we would now like I would now like to request you to brief us a little bit about your work and your contribution on the global platform. Uh, moving ahead. Uh, before uh, we speak to our, another guest that we have for today, I would like to quote a quote which was quoted by the Prime Minister of India. He said, I dream of digital India where quality education reaches the most inaccessible corners driven by digital learning. And today we have with us someone who works towards this digital education, Ms. Hira Sakip. Ma'am is the co-founder at Classimize. She is the digital entrepreneur and innovation. Ma'am helps schools and colleges adopt education technology. And I think over two years that the world is facing, what the world is facing, the crisis that we are facing, education has gone virtual. And I think this is where people like Ms. Hira Sakip come in uh, the active role, where it is because of them that Things like uh, virtual teaching goes on very smooth. Welcome, uh, ma'am. We are very fortunate to have you with us today. Thank you so much, Anjali, for the introduction. And honestly, this is absolutely mesmerizing, seeing the absolute immense um, you know, impact this has had, this actual program has had on students. And kudos to all the members that have been involved in this. It's really impressive to see from the UK. So yes, we are on a mission as everyone in EdTech is to transform the education model to support blended learning. Uh, it really goes hand in hand with what you go your goals are at IPFI. Uh, teaching and learning really is global and we should be supporting that absolutely. So yes, as you said, I'm the director and co-founder of Classimize and we have created a very simple, intuitive and engaging learning management system for the 21st century learners. 
We have tutors, schools and academies using Classmize across the UK and the US. And some of our very valuable features in this include complete end-to-end -end lesson planning, creation and scheduling. Teachers can host live video lessons, set assignments to students and more. They can increase their productivity through time-saving tools such as auto-marking. We've got easy feedback to parents through our very own Guardian application and much more. Um, students also have access to their very own smart career dashboards. So we feel that there's so much data and performance analytics that we can make use of in terms of how the student is performing different subjects, ambitions, interests, you know, of theirs. So why not leverage that data and actually support them in their careers and guide them based on the performance analytics that we get from them. So that's our mission at Classamize. We're looking to grow even further and I'm looking forward to continuing the conversations with everyone. Um, and once again, just wanna thank you all for having me on this call. Really appreciate it, thank you. It's amazing, ma'am, how you work on the digital platform. Uh, like you briefed us about your work, how you all work, uh, how there are teachers posting their live sessions and how you all have data collected for the students and how it is accessible to everyone who can sit home and study too. Uh, I would actually be interested in knowing how was your experience during the two or one and a half or two years that we were mm -hmm. facing pandemic where we were under the complete lockdown. How was yeah. your experience as as a as an institute where your work is to get education on a global platform or on a virtual platform? How was it uh, for your how was your experience at Classimize during the pandemic uh, time? Absolutely. Great question. So, of course, you know, our mission is to help um, students and teachers throughout the pandemic. Anyone that had, you know, um, contributed to this at any scale it's been a challenge. Of course, ours is a smaller scale because we're a smaller company, but it was still beautiful to see the actual you know, feedback we got from teachers and students. One of our teachers said, Any, every single school needs Classimize. And just to hear that, you know, it was a proud moment. And to see that students were using Classimize, it's one thing giving them Classimize, um, you know, but the other thing is them actually using Classimize for a period where they can't actually go into schools, they can't actually you know, continue learning. It just bridged that gap that we do have, whether we have the pandemic or not, we have always had this gap in education where a student goes home and there's no continual development, you know? It's very restricted. It's just pen and paper, but there's no monitoring of that performance. There's not additional kind of tools that we can give them that we have given them apart from the internet. And the internet is dangerous, we all know that. So, you know, Classimize has been great in that respect. Um, while it's been a, a smaller scale, you know, impact, it's still been an impact and that's beautiful for us. You know, this, uh, what, whatever you just shared with us has reminded me of something which, uh, which I'd read somewhere which said, technology will never replace great teachers, but technology in hands of great teachers is transformational. And I think you're a live example of that, where a perfect platform, given in hands of great teachers is what makes the students future bright and their careers you know brighter than what Flourish. they would have yeah yes definitely so thank you and to institutes like no classimize for taking education for making education so important and taking yeah. it on a great platform so thank, thank you, you so and much. of course our regards to wali sir also Thank you so much. Yeah. He's just at an event at the moment. But That's honestly, okay. it's true. And also teachers are also the biggest you know, concern in this. We need to help teachers. We need to reduce their workload. In the UK alone, the stats have shown that I think 77% of teachers have actually reported that you know, mental stress has been impacted because of increased workload. So Classimize is actually tailored to help them as well and to reduce that workload through automation and other kind of tools that help them. Uh, facilitate them so no it really is great thank you so much Anjali so for so for teachers great mental health people like yeah. you all are responsible <laughs> <laughs> trying to be thank you it's a huge yeah. huge huge challenge thank you <laughs> all right thank you ma'am thank you for being with us all right now we we have uh, Dr. Renuka Thakure with us so she has finally joined and ma'am we welcome you for today's virtual exchange uh, felicitation program uh, welcome, ma'am, on behalf of on behalf of Acharya Shri Vijayawalab School and our chairman, Mr. Subhashji Parmar, sir. I would like to welcome you. I would once again like to introduce, ma'am. 
She is a transdisciplinary and sustainably, sustainability expert. Ma'am is the founder of Global Sustainable Futures. She is a consultant, a trainer, and a researcher. Ma'am, we are very fortunate enough to have you with us today. And so many uh, qualifications one person having is a great thing. So I think we are going to get to learn a lot from you today. Ma'am, could you just brief us a little about your work on a global platform? Thank you very much. Thank you, Anjali. And uh, I, I must thank, first of all, uh, Joy. <laughs> yes. Jocelyn. Jocelyn, thank you very much for Joshua, inviting me to you. this event. It is a great pleasure to see so many people with from different countries and uh, exchanging their uh, your experiences on online teaching and especially global teaching. Thank you very much. So when you said that I am, uh, I have several qualifications. It is actually due to the globalization and the sustainability hat that I wear, because just now the sustainability is so widely spread or, or it is so important to integrate into our daily lives that whether it is teaching, whether it is research, whether it is cooking or whether it is eating, sleeping, whatever activity you do, I think we need to think of sustainability and that's why I can spread my wings anywhere. It is an umbrella hat which I have worn and that allows me to be with any of your type, like any group, you know, and that is the beauty of sustainability. And my, and that stems from my PhD, where I did my, I, I focused on English housing because of my past uh, experience of construction in 30, uh, for 30 years. I, I had a family business with my husband and uh, we had a housing industry, like we were in housing sector. Then I uh, did a I was a mayor uh, auditor for mayor of uh, Green Procurement Corps, which brought into me, uh, like exposed me to variety of sectors and where I was trying to understand how we can move them uh, towards green pathway. And that was long back actually, 15 years before. So I, I and I also started my, uh, uh, interest in uh, waste management as a grassroots uh, worker, where I went house to house preaching for management of household waste. And uh, so then I, I think I have educated householders, I have educated students, I have been with senior managers to see how we can turn our uh, uh, industry or sector specific practices also towards uh, sustainability, uh, sustainable uh, pathways. And, and all that taught me actually, and moved me to this uh, level where I, I'm uh, talking about waste, water, carbon emission. And along with that, what I find that future students or future anyone in future will need all three, uh, you know, skills. They will need uh, education, of course, as part of that, uh, being a specific in one discipline or something like that, but also to integrate sustainability within that discipline. So they will, they will need research also, because nowadays when we go for a shopping, a very small, uh, any one thing for shopping, we need to think that where it has been sourced from or how it will be, uh, will it suit me for your own personal choice? Also, you have to research, but for also the global choice in the sense of where it is made, how it is made, is it to uh, carbon incentive or so? And so anyone will have to be researcher and anyone have, will have to be decision maker based on all these alternatives they have. And therefore, I think each person needs to develop such qualities. And in future, we have been now, just now we have a very big problem like climate change, but we also have encountered COVID, but we don't know what will come in future. Any problem can come. 
And due to climate change, the uncertainties of these problems have been uh, highly uh, impacting our societal lifestyles or the society, how we live and how we uh, go forward with it. And therefore, I think the future skills are something which are very important for decision making, to understand alternatives, to be as critical as possible for uh, our options. And that's why I think the forum like you, uh, understanding different views, understanding what is out there is so much important. And so therefore, thank you very much for bringing me here. Uh, which allows us to know the global environment as well as we can know our own environment uh, being uh, within our context. So I will stop here for a while now. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I think we were all glued to what you were saying because there was so much new to understand and to uh, learn from you. Of course, we all know about sustainability. We know what Earth is facing. We know what crisis are happening all over the world, but we fail to, uh, you know, adapt them in our day-to-day -day living. And like you say, said, when we go to shopping, we always care for if this particular thing looks good on me or no, or will it suit me or no. But uh, I think still there are less people who think, is it harm the nature or no? Or is it going to harm the environment or no? I think it, it's now, in India especially, I would like to mention that uh, various campaigns that uh, the Indian government has been taking forth that people are now uh, aware that what kind of plastic they should be using. I think all the vegetable vendors here have stopped using the plastic which is not reusable or which cannot be recycled. So we have uh, plastic which is of a particular microns which is not harming the earth as it was harming earlier. So thank you for bringing much more to our notice and like you said of course education is important but along with education this is also very important uh, ma'am i would uh, like to know because you said that you work on a global platform and your virtual background shows the countries i think you worked with and the different associates that your uh, institute or, or the foundation has been having with africa and iimt and different things so it's great i think there's a lot of knowledge sharing that is going to happen with you from you today so uh, ma'am how do you think that virtual exchange program that we hosted this year like this uh, help the student uh, on a global scale what are you your views on that so first of all let me congratulate you for having this program which is like a virtual what did you say sorry uh virtual no, it's a virtual educational exchange program right virtual virtual uh, educational exchange program that is really good uh, i don't know the details of that program so i would definitely like to know what are the details in the sense of how you uh, are going to exchange is it just the exchange of knowledge just as we are doing at the moment or are you going to have like, for example, let me tell me my example and I will go to my network as well then. Um, so first let me tell uh, about your, my network. So again, uh, definitely these all things have been in our mind for many years that it should happen, there were gaps, but they came into existence or, or they came as a, highest barrier like a persistent barrier when this COVID came in and therefore we all thought that whatever was lying in our mind let us put it in front as a opportunities and uh, grab these opportunities right La yesterday we had a earth day celebration and yesterday we have collaborated with one of the climate savers platform who has given us a free platform to network and to set up events and all that so these are the things which I have achieved through my uh, initiative, which I think it is immensely great. And I think we will be following up to several levels with people like you. And we want to encourage everyone this, because I believe in the uh, saying that we should not be competitors, but we need to be complementaries to each other so that we can have longer and longer hand, hand, hands to cover our earth, maybe. I, 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 that is what we want to do. Thank you. 
it just reminded me ma'am of uh, my school days when our teachers used to stay uh, say that uh, we may or we may not be there but sustainability is something that will always stay so thank you for platforms like yours where uh, you all do so much for the mother earth and of course we would uh, love to be associated with your network please uh, add our school acharya shri vijayalab school from india in your uh, network so that even we can do the little bit that we can from our end our yes, uh, chairman would be more than happy to be associated uh, with your global platform ma'am sure sure thank sure. you so much ma'am yeah thank you uh after this wonderful information and knowledge given by uh, renuka ma'am we now have with us uh, miss toni camilleri she is the development manager at global school alliance she works for the benefits of the students her work is to to upbring the students in every way possible so we are glad to have her with us today over to you toni ma'am on participating in a virtual school partnership program uh, using the Global School Alliance platform. It is so exciting and encouraging to see pupils and students like yourselves taking part in international links. The Global School Alliance community is a fantastic online community where we can connect schools and educators to provide immersive experiences for students like yourselves to encourage um, developing global skills and to, to encourage links and to raise cultural awareness around the world. It's very exciting that you've taken part and I'd like to encourage you to, to continue with your international links using the Global School Alliance, who are here to support you and encourage you as much as possible. Again, thank you for inviting me to speak and I hope wish you all well with your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much uh, for being here with us and joining our virtual felicitation program for the day. Thank you so much. After this, I would like to hand over the further program to Nasreen, ma'am. Over to you, Nasreen, ma'am. Thank you, Anjali. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Renuka, ma'am, and Hira Sakib, ma'am, for your beautiful information and innovative information, I should say. Uh, the person who's going to speak now, uh, before this Philippine session, we had a, say, a virtual ex exchange with uh, South Korea. And the person who's going to speak now was a wonderful person who we interacted with him. Well, we had two uh, I think, sessions with uh, South Korea and uh, he's a wonderful person to talk about. Uh, listen to him because uh, when you listen to him, you'll understand what a great personality he is. Uh, so, uh, Kim, sir, over to you. Oh, my name is Song Wan Kim from South Korea. I'm positive discipline trainer, also encouragement consultant, master trainer. I strongly recommend, recommend the exchange program to develop the life skill like uh, communication skill and respecting others. Also, you can get opportunity to know each other with other country. Also, I appreciate the uh, Shubhashi sir. Strongly appreciate Ajari Shuri Bijaru, Harashi Puni School, and Korean Project. I recommend a lot of child to join this program to develop life, life skill. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, we really had fun uh, interacting with Kim. We had a session, you know, so it was really fun interacting with this person. A uh, very great personality, a very jolly person, I should say. Uh, thank you, sir, once again. Uh, through this ITRI session, it was not only the students or the teachers who achieve something or who, who uh, like this program, but there were there are parents also who want to speak about this. So one of our parents is very eager to speak because he feels that his daughter has learned a lot much to this interaction. So over to you, Mr. Deepak Jalgi. A warm welcome to all dignitaries. As a father, I feel proud as my daughter was selected for this international virtual access program. It has made my daughter confident in speaking at international platform. 
before she was a very shy girl but now uh, this virtual exchange has made her bold and efficient i thank the school management principal and teachers of acharya shri vijay vallabh school for giving my daughter such an excellent opportunity thank you thank you sir you can see when parents are motivated they also appreciated our sessions they loved it now we come to the great personality of our school our chairman mr subhash parmar sir uh, who is a a mentor who motivated us who pushed us in this virtual uh, educational exchange program and who really at first we were also like the students who thought that it will be a very difficult task but he was the person who encouraged us and who motivated us he you know you can do it as uh, students as teachers we learned also like students and as teachers we guided our students and he was the main person who motivated us and i would not waste my time because you all will be eager to listen to him and you understand that how his motive and uh, his encouragement really guided us through this virtual educational exchange so uh, very big thank you to him from all the teachers and students of acharya shri vijayvallabh school over to you mr subhash parmar sir friends warm welcome to all the dignitaries present for this felicitation ceremony today after the successful venture of virtual exchange program with brazil south korea egypt and kenya acharya shri vijayvallabh school plan to host a virtual exchange with philippines the first ever time in the history of acharya shri vijayvallabh school pune india my teachers were anxious and accepted this challenge as a lifetime experience right from framing the sessions and organizing the whole program from beginning and entire process our students had an excellent opportunity to interact with the students of unida christian college philippines which has made them confident in speaking and presenting themselves i feel privileged to stay i feel privileged to say i say i feel privileged to say with pride that acharya shri vijayvallabh school pune india is the first school who to have hosted such educational exchange programs virtually with so many of the countries on continuous basis i would like to thank joselin ma'am the principal of unida christian college philippines and her entire team to accept, who have accepted our invitation of cultural exchange a heartfelt gratitude to joselin ma'am and her entire team and the lovely students of ucc for their cooperation in making this virtual exchange a grand success i would like to extend my greetings to the students parents and all our well wishers of acharya shri vijayvallabh school for their support for helping us to make this exchange a wonderful experience for us i am thankful to yogi patel of usa hira saki tony camilleri dr renuka akur and of course mr kim of south korea for their constant support and who have encouraged motivated this entire activity i am thankful to all of you i am thankful to my principal mrs mansi marulkar and entire team under whose leadership this entire program went well continuously since last more than 2 years i am sure this activity which acharya shri vijayvallabh school has started as a novel and novelty uh, activity should go further along and should bring more countries more faith more academics and more uh, 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 families together of different countries i am thankful to all of you the viewers uh, for joining this program and entire team from india and from philippines also thank you thank you sir you are really a guide and mentor and motivator for all the teachers and students of acharya shri vijayvallabh school it's all because of your 
hard work and efforts that we are able to conduct this uh, virtual educational exchange program. So thank you, sir, once again. Uh, we remember this, this is, though we say this is the last session, I don't think so. I should say it is the last one. It's just a pause, I think so. After this, we may meet once again for another such wonderful sessions. And uh, at the beginning, when uh, we were introduced to Philippines, that is Jocelyn Ma'am and her team and, uh, and her students, it was also like that we felt that since we are hosting it for the first time, we were also a little bit uh, nervous, but uh, Jocelyn Ma'am was there with a team who always encouraged, motivated us also and helped us out, cooperated with us so that we could go through this session very smoothly, apart from all the network issues. But uh, it was fun working with you, Jocelyn, ma'am. Really, we learned many things from the students. It's not always the teachers who teach because we learn many things from the students. So we are not only teachers, but even we are students learning something new every day what we have learned from the students that how we should interact and be very friendly with each other uh, as language are no barriers and uh, even the boundaries should I think so should not be barriers you know so this is what cultural exchange teaches us so thank you everyone once again for all your uh, support and uh, motivation and all the dignitaries who are present here uh, now over to you, Pragati ma'am, to propose the vote of thanks. Our coordinator will propose a vote of thanks to you. So over to you, Pragati. Thank you so much, uh, madam. Uh, it actually gives me a really uh, blessed and privileged feeling to propose the vote of thanks as we come to the end of this uh, felicitation program of Indo-Philippines Virtual Educational Exchange. Uh, I think I'm saying it for the last time, <laughs> if we, I would like to thank uh, our chairman of our school, Sri Subhashji Parmar sir for being an inspiration and as uh, rightfully said by Nasreen ma'am, a guiding force for this uh, virtual exchange programs, which we have conducted in our schools. Our principal, Mrs. Manasi Marwalkar ma'am, the Philippine school principal, Ms. Jocelyn Dimala, ma'am. She was too cooperative with us. Bishop Ed Edgardo Marquez, the school administrator of Unida Christian Schools for supporting our initiative and uh, encouraging us by his presence in one of the sessions. The IPVI team, which includes uh, Romelia Sifra, ma'am, Renal Blanco, sir, of Philippines, Nasreen, ma'am, Nasreen Khan, ma'am, and Anjali Gandhi, ma'am, of India. Uh, all the Philippines and uh, dignitaries who have joined us around the globe, like Yogi Patel, ma'am, from US, Renuka Thakure, ma'am, today, who talked about sustainability, uh, Tony, ma'am, Tony, for talking about the Students' Council and encouraging us. Hira Sakib for filling up the place rightfully and uh, enlightening us with uh, the work you do. Thank you so much. Uh, Sengwan Kim, sir, who has been a part of uh, the South Korean exchange with our school. All the people who joined from USA, UK, Brazil, Korea, and around the globe. Thank you so much for gracing this occasion with your presence. I also would like to thank the management members of Bacharya Shivajay Vallabh School and the Unida Christian Colleges, Philippines. The teachers, parents, our dear students, and also the audience who has joined this Facebook Live around the globe. Thanks for your valuable time. I would also like to extend my gratefulness to the teaching and non-teaching staff of Acharya Shivijay Vallabh School for their unending support. And how can I forget to thank our technical team because of whom this program will be live Facebook. 
Thank you so much, everyone. I take this as my honor to work as a coordinator for this program and to propose this vote of thanks by acknowledging the contribution of each and every one who has worked hard to make this program a successful one. Thank you so much. Thank you all and Namaste. Acharya Shri Vijayavallab School, Pune, India. Thanks to all our eminent guests. Thanks to all our viewers. A special gratitude to our chairman, Shri Shubhash Ji Parmar. A big thanks to our team members, Mrs. Mansi Marulkar, Principal, Mr. Kalpesh Darji, Team Leader, Mrs. Pragati Zoshi, Coordinator, Mrs. Nasreen Khan, Core Team Member,